is a very private affair. But as for eating, it is the only self-renewing passion that I know. You look like a prisoner for the hangman with that hood. I shall go round to Saddle Row in the morning and have something more suitable made up. We have an intolerable situation and you eat. My dear boy, stop shouting. I only want to hear fluted words. The angels smile on us after. My father. The esteemed Marquis of Queensbury. Is a pig-eyed swine. He is your father. I know who he is really attacking. It is I. He has always hated me. How could anyone hate those sweet pomegranate lips? Because I resemble mother. She is so beautiful. And because I'm talented. I have grace and feeling, and he is an ugly runt of a man with a title. God, how could mother have married him? Perhaps it was the only way she could have you. <laughs> you think that I have talent and grace, don't you, Oscar? I thought your last sonnet was splendid. And as for grace, you know your movements are all out of bits. Let, let me see that libelous card. Oh, again. don't be tedious, Bosie. Everyone at your club will know about the card. I am supremely indifferent to it. He can leave his scandalous messages at Victoria Station or at the palace. What, with posing as a sodomite written on all of it? It's as valid a pose as any other these days. <laughs> Besides, he only says posing and does not accuse me directly. Everyone will take it as an accusation. If this goes unanswered, there will be no stopping him. You should have thrashed him with your cane. It occurred to me. But it is such a good Malaga cane that I didn't want to risk it. I must be as careful of my cane as of my reputation. Five hundred pounds a year. That's all I get. He won't settle a decent sum on me. <coughs> he is drawing thousands of pounds of rent while I can't pay my tailor. No one pays his tailor. It's God's way of helping the rich. <laughs> we can ruin him. Just think of what it would mean to be free. No more frightful scenes at the Café Royale. Right now, you could cut me off and not give me a pound. But if you brought an action, you would be afraid of us. We could get 10,000 pounds damages and costs. Well, since I have been defamed, I assume the 10,000 would be mine. Of course, in a matter of speaking. <laughs> Don't go petty on me, Oscar. What was all that serious talk about? Some unpleasantness at Oscar's club. Not another creditor. The more famous Oscar becomes, the more creditors we seem to have. Worse. Mm. Is this your dinner? Now, Constance. It's my father. You know what a nuisance Queensbury has been making of himself. Well, his obnoxious behavior during your place is a matter for the police. As is this matter. Oscar. What have you been keeping from me? Nothing but dreary little cloud-like events that shouldn't trouble you. Perhaps Oscar is right. I'm certain he can take care of the problem. I was addressing myself to my husband. Very, very well, my dear. The Marquis left a ridiculous card at the Albemarle Club. Yes, my father is not long. Left a card? Is that all? Forgive me for saying it, but he accused Oscar of posing as a son of mine. Your father is mad. Then you agree. Oscar must sue him for criminal libel. Certainly not. I do not want Oscar or us to have anything further to do with the Marquis. It is a serious insult. All insults are serious to you men. Insults are toys in your world. Ignore it. I have to protect you, Oscar. You're so impractical. Particularly when it comes to business matters. Oscar has two plays running, and they are bringing in enormous sums. And he has a whirlwind capacity for spending. I'm certain there's 10,000 pounds to be made if Oscar sues my father. 10,000 pounds? That does put a better light on it, doesn't it? <coughs> no. I don't want us to be involved in these sordid things. But there is... I think we are uh, tired of the subject. Oscar is right. No more on this. You are not going to ignore this, Oscar. I think Constance is right. Not, not if you care about my ivory skin and my violet blue eyes. And pomegranate lips. I ask on our friendship. Do this for me. Rosie, I would be placing my fortune, my reputation, and myself in the dock. Do you really want that? Yes. That <laughs> is more than even Constance would ask of me. I ask it. I have, shall we say, a special right. Is there a word we have not spoken? Hmm? Is there something we have not dared? Dark secrets are our bond. Oh, <laughs> Don't be weak. I want a strong Oscar. 
ask a star witness for the crown, it would be the most spectacular trial of the decade. Your name will be known everywhere. Paris, New York. You really think there would be that much interest? And we can serve champagne during recess. Well, of course, I would need a new wardrobe. Uh, something fitting for court. Mm -hmm. uh, Grey satin lapels, I think, and uh, perhaps a Neronian hairdo. The classical is best mm -hmm. for these occasions. <laughs> Oscar has decided to hit back. Oscar, you haven't. It has only been under discussion. I thought it was all of me. I'm against it. I'm determined you do nothing. You all decided that I ignore this outrageous conduct. As your wife, I'm asking that you ignore it. Like the bouquet of vegetables of Queensbury sent on stage for opening night of an ideal husband. And they were excellent vegetables too. This is like a challenge to a duel. <laughs> we are talking about honor. This is a man's matter. Oscar, we are a family. If you put yourself in the dock, we go with you. I'm afraid of Queensbury and his vicious tongue, but I'm more afraid of his intending all of us in a lawsuit. Oscar, we have better half an hour to be at Kepner's for supper. I shall think carefully about what you have said, Constance. When? Are you out of dinner with your cronies? Dine here tonight. Lately, I only see you for an hour here and there. You are forever elsewhere. But you don't understand. We are booked at Kepner's. It is specially ordered. There are guests coming. Guests? Are guests more important than your two boys? Comparison. Oscar, please. I can't. If you go out tonight, you're taking one more step away from us. I really must. Go then. Go to your charming friends. They seem to be more of a comfort to you than the boys and I. Well, so we're off to Kevin's and you will soon follow, won't you? If my solicitor approves. Conditions? I don't want any conditions. Not now when we have it. Swear out the wall. I promised Constance I would consider her objection. You have made many promises to Constance and you have broken them. Do it today. When it is done, I will go with you to Monaco. Hmm? A few days gambling will take our mind off things before the trial starts. I would have to prepare for the trial. Sensible things are so dull. Your barrister will oversee everything, but the Crown, the Crown prosecutes Queensbury. A few days in Monaco sounds like an expensive outing, both. Don't be <laughs> mean with money like Queensbury. Now, I am off to the police station and then on to Monaco. Are you with me? I should be listening to what Constance yes, said. Come on, Oscar. Your plans are all madness. Yes, and therein lies the pleasure. Then let us be mad. Completely, utterly mad. That way, the gods will only pity us. They won't punish. Mm -hmm.